Okay, welcome back to Booze and News. I'm Curtis. I'm Zach. I'm John. And I'm Dylan. And we're back talking Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 3, The Heiress. Yes. And we're going to go around, tell you what we're drinking, and we're going to get in some rounds. Zach, start it off. So I'm drinking Bell's Cherry Stout, a chow, a chow, a chow, aged in cherry juice. (laughs) John, what are you drinking? (laughs) I'm drinking Breckenridge (laughs) Bourbon. It's the best bourbon around, only here at Club Geek. <laughs> Such a big commercial. Yeah, it's like a robot. <laughs> and I'm drinking Boulevard Wheat. All right, you guys ready to jump into some rounds? More than anything. All Absolutely. right. Round one, Uncle Rico. So during this episode, we got another small group of Mandalorians. Okay. And I don't know about you guys, but I felt... Like, they treated Mando like he was Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> he was like a goofball, which is very non-Mando in the previous two episodes. Uh, for me, it was when he was walking down the... Uh, uh, he said, cover me, and he was walking towards all the stormtroopers. Mm-hmm. And he was just getting pelted left and right, and they're just back there like, yeah, okay. I want you guys... To give me a scene, it can be not only in the Star Wars universe, it can be anywhere, that those three will drop in uh, on Mando and basically bully or embarrass him. I'll go ahead and start. All right, oh. start it up. So Mando's going through the car wash, <laughs> and and, like and he's on the uh, hot wax cycle, so he can get his shiny chrome, <laughs> or Bell's... Bell's... Belzar. Beskar. 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 There we go. This Extra is, shiny. Belzar. This is John. A couple weeks in. coming out, guys. So <laughs> Tom Bunder cheer, everyone. <laughs> they drop in and say, "Hey, you can't use hot wax on that. You got to use no wax." <laughs> And, <laughs> and, and the and the <laughs> then the crowd goes wild <laughs> and seen. You have to wear. God damn it! You have to use the spot-free rinse only. Oh! Oh! oh, oh that's that's terrible! <laughs> Those bitches. <laughs> I like I like that. Good job. All right, scintillating right. stuff. Record right. bourbon, takes. everyone. That's what it does for you. All right, all right. I got one. All right. Do you, do you want me to go? Yeah, go ahead. All right. So uh, Mando's getting an all Cara Dune, and they drop in, and they go, I poked a hole in your condom, and then they blast off. <laughs> and then he blasts off, too. <laughs> and then he blasts there off. There we go. Oh, oh, here we go. Zach, we got anything? How about Mando's going through line, dropping off his kid at school, and they drop in and go, bitch, you're going the wrong way. Is there a one-way street or something? I don't understand. Well, haven't you ever dropped your kid off to school? There's only one way to go in the drop-off line. <laughs> I just, I just, you, it could be better. Maybe just try another one. Uh, right. we're gonna, just try we're another next one. Round. <laughs> next round. John gave you a good one. So. Yeah, a good I don't know about a good one. Sorry. <laughs> you gave him one. That, that's all, all right. giving. So the next one. Clever girl. So I want you guys to give me a last line from a Stormtrooper. Or it could be anybody if you can't think of a Stormtrooper one. Like right before they're going to get killed or something happens to them. Okay. And uh, as always, I'm going to give you two examples. Okay. Maybe one of them reads their papers and is like, I'm assigned to the Death Star? Sounds safe. You know, that might be a good one. Or maybe when the main Lord's around, they're like, hey, do you leave your helmet on during sex too? Hmm? Okay. So. Oh, boy. So, so I'll go first on this one because I did like this guy's last dying words, like "You oh, may shit. let me live, but he won't." And he bites on some kind of electric, yeah, electric cyanide pill. Yeah, kind yeah, of it was an execution. Oh, that was yeah. pretty cool. So yeah. it kind of reminded me of like uh, CSI Miami, where, you know, where the guy's like says a quippy line, he's like "Yeah," but he got electrocuted instead. Yeah. So I would say if I was a stormtrooper and I was about to bite in a cyanide pill, I'd probably just tell those are going to kill me. Please clear my browser history and then bite into a sign that pill. Ooh, there we go. That's good. Very nice. That's a too good. many Caradoon searches. Well, it's just things that's best you can't left have off the You can't have too many Caradoon searches, just to be clear. <laughs> I bet two? Dylan would like to go next. <laughs> Uh, when they're, uh, I mean, unfortunately, the best line ever has already been said, but not in a Star Wars movie. It's in Star Balls, 
where they go and zoom down on Tatooine and they go, We ain't found shit! <laughs> that's exactly I don't it. think you mean <laughs> Star Wars. Balls. 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 Yeah, I think Star Wars <laughs> is, Star an Balls. Adult, is an adult film <laughs> Isn't that, in, that John, uh, has, that and John and has on Blue Zach Ray. and Mira make a porno? I think so. Anyway, <laughs> Spaceballs, We Ain't Found Star Shit. Balls. Was that when they were combing the desert? Combing the desert, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that scene. Yeah, Star Balls think it's a different outcome when they're combing something. <laughs> uh-huh. um, different John? outcome? What does that mean? Whoa. John, your thoughts? Um, I think basically they, they get on there and they're thinking like, I should have chose a Death Star. So <laughs> Curtis, you example. just stole my example. So, so, so to be no, clear, I, I, made your, your, I made your example, you know, make sense. Mm-hmm. Because, you mm-hmm. know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So your example was Curtis's without the question mark. Yeah, okay. exactly. It was more of a statement. It was like their dying last thought was, you know, maybe I should have just went ahead and went to this. For the start. six of you still watching this, stay tuned. I promise it will get better. <laughs> I've heard you've been like going through a car wash, pick the wrong car wash, or something like that. Try to get the hot wax. Yeah, try to get the hot. I wax. wish I got the hot, hot wax. wax. Yes. That'd have been better. Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> I already have a pet and a review, so I always this is just give me a review. He said that at the end of the episode. I already have a pet. Yeah. yeah there's twice they said the thing about the pet. I didn't appreciate it. Oh well, then you want to start your the review for the episode? If you give me an example. Oh, oh it's just a review. <laughs> There's no examples. We'll get to my yeah. review in a little example, bit. Example, give okay. it a number between yep. 0 and 10. I, I, That's will, yeah. I will absolutely start. So I really love this episode because of uh, the way that the Mandalorians came back and in a fashion that showed that the uh, sect or religions were split after the, I would think, the Great Purge. Right? So they were all split up. We'll get into that. We'll get into yeah, that. Yeah, I'm sure he's got a bunch of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so there was... There nerd, was alert. Yeah. nerd alert. Nerd alert. There was more than one way to be a Mandalorian. Oh. So, yeah, let's give this an 8 of 10. 8 of 10 wait, just yeah. for her? Wait. We'll okay. give it an 8 out of 10 just 8 of for 10. her. So what's 7? Now it's 8. No, no, 7 was last week. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this, this, this week's okay. an 8. So, yeah, this yeah. was a better episode This was last a week. much better episode than last week. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to go next? Let Zach go first. No, okay. And they mentioned. Because then you're going to. Yeah, gonna, yeah, before you bore us all to death yeah, with a bunch of nerdy shit no one else can And they about. mentioned Darksaber. Boy. Yep. Uh, I'm going to say this was the worst episode of the season so far. And I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. Curtis got hit on the first question. Uh, Mando looked like an idiot. He looked. He took a back seat in the entire episode. He looked the most incompetent of all the Mandalorians, which I hated because we've known Mando to be a Are badass. Are you kidding me? He the other, fought down the thing. Was like, no, hey, the I'll... other three looked way more adept at combat. They he should... took a back seat. <laughs> he watched them take down mm-hmm. multiple people. The only time he shined was when he said, cover me. And he looked like a guy trying to score a touchdown by himself. Getting blasted much and I bunch disagree. Of I think this that, isn't your I review, John. This was you a different have your form of fighting because they, cho- they chose a John. different path. I guess this is John's review. So. <laughs> Can going. I give my review now, John? All right. Anywho, I didn't like it because Mando looked like a buffoon compared to the other three Mandalorians. Buffoon. I didn't enjoy buffoon. that. That's I also just talk. generally didn't like the whole pirate theme of the episode, where it's like, "Ah, give the baby to the sea monster." I didn't like that whole thing. I didn't either. Just the general Davy Jones pirate concept. So last week I think I gave it a 7, which in retrospect I probably should have bumped it up to 7.5 so I could give this episode a 7. But due to the fact that I thought this episode was the worst, I'm going to give it a 6.5. Just not for me. Wow. Not a good episode for me. So, I enjoy it. So 7? No, 8. 8. 8. 6.5. Six six and and half. Half. Do, you, do you want me to go before you? Because I really will bore all of you. <laughs> well, you can go ahead. I got, okay. my, I got my gripes about this too. <coughs> All right, nice. right. So, not as nerdy. Let me let me oh, go yeah. ahead and finish you off right there. All right, so you said. The please thing. don't finish me off. I'm gonna finish For the you record, off. <laughs> please With don't my finish mouth, me I'm off. Finish you hey, off. John, right? Right? <laughs> use that line in the porn. <laughs> oh, last week. Oh, here we go. Uh, anyway, so bit, first things first. The reason why they're better, 100 percent better. Bo Katan Kariz is Satine Kariz's sister. Ah, oh, Satine. Satine, who was Obi Wan Kenobi's love interest back in Star Wars. And also the planet leader of the. Mandalore. And the Mandalore. So the whole the whole separation of it was uh, Mandalore used to be uh, neutral in the Trade Federation War between uh, the actual uh, when the Trade Federation War was going on between the Clone Wars and the robots. Okay, Mandalore was neutral. 
what happened was there was an effect of it called Death's <laughs> I was so I'm so horny for this episode, bros. Thank you. Thank so you. Before you get further in, where did you learn all this from? Uh, you have to watch cartoons. Oh, yeah. you gotta watch cartoons. That, you can't just no, no, not just the cartoons. Let's not go off the cloak. God damn it. The Clone Wars. His ass got out of a chair. I did. I it, am excited. I, I thought he was still sitting down, to be fair. Did it will. Watch? Okay, you, he is standing there. I get yeah. some stuff Can't off confirm. the bottom. You, you, you have to watch just a few episodes of it, and it's literally the best because... So what happens is, is the it's Death true. the Death Watch uh, separates from Mandalore. They make a coup, and who do they use as their coup's leader? Darth Maul and his brother, Savage Opress. Between Darth Maul and Savage Opress and uh, their uh, whole group, plus the Death Watch, they <laughs> I will join turn against that. Mandalore. And that's where the separation happens between the peace treating Mandalores and the Death's Watch. <clears throat> that's why when she says, you only know the Watch's way, is the Death Watch. Mm-hmm. All right? The reason that they're so much better than him is because they've been training since they were children. He is an adopted child. So totally... Okay, I love you guys. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that's why she knows Ahsoka Tano. She knows Ahsoka Tano because she was Fulcrum in Star Wars Rebels, which oh, also was with it. a lot of words out that I just don't understand. There, there is... It all connects. All right. We're going to wrap this trash from fucking dumpster fire up right here. God damn. <laughs> this is the way. Yeah. Everybody's beer is empty, by the way. Yeah, right? No, no, no. Uh, this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. The way. Hey, welcome back to Booze and News. I'm Curtis. I'm Zach. I'm John. I'm John. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> How does someone forget John. their own name? I just not I'm forgetting my own Should have got the hot wax. <laughs> I don't always have to flex there. So, Humana, what, what are your thoughts? No, 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 he's got to finish it. He's Honestly, it. once again, because of bringing back in, and because of Katie Sackhoff, who was the original voice are actress for Bo-Katan. What? Did, I, did, did you the mic You just, just shit his pants. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that? No. It sounded like a dog quacking underwater. No. Are you that's kidding crazy me? crazy talk. That was his chair, because I was trying to get back it in. It sounded like a trumpet in a mud pit. You no, guys didn't really hear that? That's ridiculous. I was trying to get back in my chair. 